All right, let's see. What's this article about? So we're looking at um, 4,000 series. All right, let's see what's up here, boys. All right, so here, this is going to be the headline topic. I already know this is going to be the one I'm going to be making the video about today. We love the AMD processors. So what we have right here is Ryzen 4000 series, Zen 3 CPU, release date, specs, pricing, and performance. So it looks like at the end of 2020, we might be getting a release here for Ryzen 4000 series, which will be super sick. Um, we are looking at September 28th to 30th of this year, which is actually really quickly um our best lead so far is a rescheduled computex so it could be at the new computex that's going to happen on the 28th of september which will be pretty sick if that does happen uh zen 3 will deliver performance right in line with might expect from the early new architecture but that assumption will be a 50 percent improvement in uh, performance increase from zen 3. 50 percent is significant is it significant significant enough for me to say you should wait to buy this instead Probably not. I would probably still go with whatever's out right now. Those CPUs are awesome right now. It's not like you're getting bad performance or anything, and you're not going to get like an amazing boost by waiting for um, a new release. 50% IPC is like second gen to third gen. Yeah, so like that's a good increase from second to third gen, but like, are you, do you really need that much more IPC improvement? I don't know. We'll see. What are we going to expect from pricing and if core count's going to be different? That's the big thing. Uh, I don't know if they've said anything in this article about core count, um, but I would assume we're probably going to get uh, higher core count CPUs, but they could be the same. I don't know. That's the big thing we got to figure out is what core count's going to be like. Knowing AMD, they are going to push the envelope on core count, but with them being ahead of Intel right now, technically ahead, uh, they would be ahead with this release. If they release this at the end of the year, it will definitely, I would be willing to put money on the fact that it will most likely beat 10th gen Intel stuff. Could we be seeing a situation where AMD is going to pump the brakes a little bit, or are they going to be a company that's going to keep pushing the development envelope? So there's a good chance that AMD could be like Intel. They get in the lead and they pump the brakes and they don't push extra innovation, which could be sad. And then we get in a situation where we're waiting for Intel to play catch up, which it will happen. For those who think Intel is down and out and never coming back, you are absolutely wrong. Intel has so many resources. They're definitely going to make a comeback. They're most likely going to leapfrog back AMD. But, you know, that's it's just one of those things where we're just going to have to see how this new launch performs. You know, I'm very optimistic. I think it's going to do really well. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's going to be interesting. We'll see.